Hi, my, my name is Greg Connell, and I'd like to thank the organizers of, of the Bell Museum for giving me the opportunity to discuss some of my lab's work. We've been interested in the regulation of iron in the body. And this is very much analogous uh, to the situation uh, Goldilocks face in choosing the right temperature of porch. In the sense that iron is absolutely essential for life. Uh, it's essential for metabolism, uh, iron energy generation, DNA replication, and many other things. So having too little is really problematic. At the same time, having too much causes problems as well because the iron will cause oxidative damage and that's related to many diseases. So we're interested in learning how the body regulates the iron and more specifically how to correct for imbalances in the iron that occur at, with, with either extreme, either too little or too much. A key part of the regulation occurs at the level of the transferrin uh, receptor. This is the major means of iron importation for, for dividing cells. So this receptor sits at the surface of the plasma membrane, the membrane of the cell, and it imports the iron. So cells that require more iron uh, express more receptor. And, and it turns out that the uh, receptor is regulated at level of messenger RNA stability. So, so just to remind you, uh, you have your uh, genes on your DNA, on your chromosomes, they get transcribed into messenger RNA. And these, the code on the messenger RNA then gets used to make protein. It, it turns out that in case of the transferrin receptor messenger RNA, that it gets rapidly degraded in the presence of iron. And, and this um, is actually, a really neat mechanism to regulate the iron. That, you know, as the iron level increases, the messenger RNA gets degraded. And as a result, there's less uh, protein being made, less receptor being made. And as a result, there's less iron being taken back into the cell. So this was proposed in the 1980s. And the part of the problem that has remained a mystery up to now is the identity of the Pac-Man here. What is actually doing the degradation? Because this is a really, potentially interesting pharmacological target. And what my lab has found is that, hey, within the transferrin receptor messenger RNA, that there are three very highly specialized loop structures that form shown here in red. And that these interact with a key protein called Roquin, which actually, it's the Pac-Man. It, it's, it's the protein that mediates the degradation. So we're now interested in learning uh, how to pharmacologically uh, manipulate this process to correct for different diseases. So um, if you're interested in learning more about this work, it was re recently uh, published uh, a few months ago. And you can also email me anytime if you have any questions. Thank you.